Hello everybody, I hope that you are having an amazing day and welcome to this week's episode of The Mandala Effect. So this week, I'm hoping to push a few buttons and we're going to be talking about who are you pretending to be? Who are you pretending to be and is that person, is she worthy of your true self? So hello and welcome. (laughs) Um, And if you're new to the podcast, thank you so much for joining us. All of our regular listeners, thank you very much um, for tuning in. I, it's been um, almost a whole year since that I have been recording these weekly and week on week I see more people tuning in so thank you so much for joining and I would as the year draws to a close I would love to hear if you've taken anything away in particular from the podcast um, from listening to these conversations be it my my uh, ramblings or a conversation that I've had with somebody else um, and I have some really exciting conversations coming up next year so um, don't go anywhere. <laughs> um, yes, so please let me know if you've taken anything away in particular. And we've seen the transition from Design Your Legacy into the Mandala Effect. And this has been really important for me because um, I've evolved, I've grown. I started the podcast two years ago now. And the conversations that I used to have whilst of a similar vein were are very the ones the conversations I have today are very different and I believe they are they um, we go much deeper shall we say that into how we're helping change the world how we're improving our own lives changing the world starts with changing ourselves and when we change ourselves I'm not suggesting we do it from a place of we're not good enough from a place of self-improvement that helps nobody we are already perfect beings we are already um we are already whole we are already everything that we need to be we just need to peel back the layers that hold us back and so welcome to this week's episode because this week we're talking about who are you pretending to be who are you pretending to be because every single day we get out of bed we put on a mask if you're a woman and you wear makeup like I do every day we literally put on a mask of makeup so people don't see what's underneath so who are you pretending to be in your day-to-day and is she worthy of your true self that is so there's just been a few things and obviously this always comes from my own experience and what I've seen in Uh, whether it's in my clients or whether it's in like my friends or family or however it plays out but it plays out for a reason plays out to show me something um but i have just seen just i I don't know i just sort of have seen through a few personas i've seen through a few stories that people are telling themselves of who they need to be and it's just triggered something in me that well where okay well where am I not being my most authentic self where am I not embodying my true self because that's why we should we have these reflections in our outer world to kind of say help us look at ourselves so um so where have so I've just been seeing seeing women especially just not being true to themselves and not believe and it comes from not believing in yourself not believing that you're good enough not believing that what you've got to say is valuable not believing that you know enough in order to share not believing in your true power not believing in in your true potential and I mean that breaks my heart but unfortunately the conditioning and the programming programming that we've had since we were like this big has um has added to this and this is no fault it's not our parents fault it's not society's well yeah it's nobody's fault it's just the way of it but it's totally within our responsibility and our power to change that to st- i believe that's why we're here so that we can learn to step back into our into our true selves into our most potential um and really embody who we're here to be 
and you know when you know that's like a kind of that's when we begin to graduate this school of life when we really start acting from a more aligned place so i'm hoping to keep this shortish and sweetish um but hopefully not too sweet that you don't go away and take any action um so i did make some notes so let me just check to see where we are at okay so i mentioned the word persona and the, the word persona means it means this mask that we have built to put on show the outside world to prove that we are acceptable to prove that we can be accepted by society there is a reason that you see different types of people who are very similar hanging around you know you have similar friendship groups because that persona is is deemed acceptable within that friendship group um what do they say birds of a feather flock together similar to that so we put on a persona so that we are deemed acceptable by our peers and we live by this persona this is our identity i used to bleach my hair platinum blonde because that's what i thought that's who i thought i was um and nothing like losing your hair to make you say oh i'm not the bleach blonde hair um nothing like you know having parts of your physical identity changed to kind of really make yourself question who you are so the persona is it's a, it's just an element of our psyche that we we have built subconsciously to help us remain um safe ultimately it's been built by the ego and the ego's job is to keep us safe so it's not doing anything wrong we have just kind of built this persona but and then so when i say the true self and who is and and is your persona worthy of your true self well who is your true self so think of think of somebody you really admire and and you know somebody be it a celebrity be it your favorite coach be it like a, a, a public figure or even somebody in a book a fictional character or whatever and think of the qualities in that person that you really admire and you maybe think oh i'm not like that but th those qualities that you admire in that person you have those qualities within you but there's a part of you that's rejected them because you don't believe that that is you because you don't believe you're good enough to be that person um write down a list of qualities that you would like to embody that you would like to have you already have those qualities within you again you just don't believe that they are yours but they are so the person that you already want to the person that you want to be is who you already are so when we're talking about manifestation and um things need and, and wanting to see things manifest in your life uh, we speak about you need to I say the collective we we speak about you need to become that which you desire who do you need to become to see this happen in your life and and you don't need to change yourself what you need to do is peel back the layers of the persona of the ego that are um holding you back from stepping into your true self and embodying those again we don't do this we, d we don't come out of the womb and kind of grow up like this because it's not necessarily safe the ego doesn't see it as being safe so but it is you know we don't have to run away from um from we're, we're not we're nobody's prey anymore right unless uh, you know and I, I know we have some quite serious situations going on in the world but um generally we don't have to run away from being somebody's dinner on a day-to-day -day basis so um so the survival elements of our ego don't necessarily serve us anymore so it's safe to step into our true selves take my word for it it's safe to, to be more of who you truly are okay um so all of these qualities that you think you might like well you already have them you might have just rejected them so now you're being so now let's be aware of these qualities let's see them around let's see them in other people and if you admire that you say yeah well, i have that in me recognize that embody that and as you begin to integrate it you will just 
naturally become more of your true self without even trying um and and then how can you maybe journal on this but how can you show up more as your true self every day because as you do step into more of your true self you are then acting and living from a an authentic and aligned place and when you are acting and living from a more authentic and aligned place things just slot into place you know your solutions will find answers your <laughs> your challenges will find, your problems will find the solution, your challenges will find answers, you know, there will be, there, things will start to happen more easily, you know, life does not have to be difficult, that is a myth, that is conditioning. So you, so things will just start to happen. And, and as you step into more of your true self, like I mentioned, you start to manifest um, the life that you really want and it just it just becomes your life around you as you step more into your true self so you don't need to change yourself you don't need to change your personality you don't you just need to become more of who you already are i'm hoping that i'm making sense here and you don't need to put on this persona to prove that other people like to prove to other people that you are good enough because you already are good enough and that's it like I just, I, I couldn't imagine believing that anybody outside of me wasn't good enough for something that they desired. And yet somehow we think that about ourselves. So please remind yourself, like when you're showing up to something, when you're challenging yourself and pushing yourself and trying to achieve something that you just don't quite believe is within reach, know that yes you are good enough to have it yes you are worthy just because you are not because of anything else not because of um not because of like the degree that you've got not because and i mentioned this on instagram this week but you're not worthy because you've got the degree you're not you're not worthy because you've got a relationship you're you're not worthy because of x reason you just are worthy period that's it like if if we could teach our children anything it would be that you are worthy just end of um and you know it would be very interesting to see what type of world we built from that place um so yeah the universe will match your energy as you step into more of your true self and you and you will just see the life that you desire reflected back at you you know your inner world creates your outer world so the more you step into your true self, the more you become who you are put on this planet to be, the more life will reflect that back to you. Um, and when you're then acting out of alignment with your true self, this is when you're holding yourself back, right? So when you're acting from a place of like, when you're not being authentic and you know you're not when you're doing something to uh, to get something when you're kind of you know i was talking to this to a friend about this today when you're posting on instagram with the expectation of getting likes or when you're posting because you need validation that isn't because ultimately that's what you're doing when you're just doing it for follow followers and likes you, you're craving validation that isn't your true self that is not authentic that is you believing that you need to prove yourself that is still you believing that you are not good enough um so just some points on how we block our true self from fully shining um and it really comes down to because we're afraid of what other people think of us so we will we will not be authentic because we are afraid of what other people will think of us because as the ego works and as the survival instinct works if we're not deemed if we're not deemed good enough by our peers if we're outcast by our peers if we are like back in the day when you know when we were in tribes if we were um if we weren't accepted by our peers we would be thrown out we would be thrown out and effectively left to die. So that's really scary to the ego. So this is why we build this persona to keep us safe. So, but actually we're holding ourselves back when we're acting from this place of the ego 
and, and the egoic fears of worrying about what other people think rather than stepping into who we truly are. God, I've just had a thought. We've come so far from, so far from our caveman days. You know, well done humanity, but this is what the ego's done. It's thanks to the ego keeping us safe that we've managed to evolve. And now we're evolving again, and now we're evolving into um, our more authentic selves, living from our hearts, less from our minds. And as we do this, we're gonna see humanity like soar. Um, you just, I just, we can't even comprehend how we're evolving yet. Um, and another place we block our true selves is by acting from a place of lack over from over a place of abundance so we are infinite abundance right we are the universe is a very abundant universe all you have to do is look i'm very very fortunate that i have the sea right outside my window all i have to do is look outside see the beautiful nature around me and see I, and then an abundance is literally reflected back at me nature is abundant we are abundant but again through conditioning and programming we are made to believe that we're not we're made to believe that there is not enough we're made to believe that we are not enough but there is more than enough to go around i think the amount of money so if we're just talking financially at the minute um and and abundance and lack is not just about money but we some we think it is because of how it's been spun in social media but um but abundant financially speaking there is more than enough money circulating in the world for everybody to be a millionaire or billionaire i'm not quite sure of which one but i would say you'd be satisfied with a million pounds right so if you can step into and act from a place of abundance and that there is always more than enough to go around again that will start to be reflected back at you and as you are stepping more into abundance you are stepping more into your true self and the reason it's then reflected back to you is because the universe is matching who you truly are this is powerful stuff really powerful stuff um, and another way that we block our true self is by believing that our, um, believing the childhood stories and the conditioning um, believing those that have like led to where we are today like l led to you building this persona but still believing them when you're 30 40 like those stories are not true they are they you know our mind warps memories it's not always the truth uh, but ultimately we'll find that most of these stories make us believe in some way that we're not good enough and again let me tell you yes you are because well because you just are full stop but also we are a manifestation of the all that is we are a manifestation of pure consciousness we are all the same thing right just acting within it just manifest in a different way um and so pure consciousness the true self doesn't believe that it's not good enough because it is the all that is right not good enough to who not good enough to what it does doesn't like keep questioning it doesn't make sense pure consciousness the all that is the, the substance that we are made of that's all there is so how can we not be good enough um i mean if, you know you kind of try and break it down like that it's fairly simple but the mind, the ego, it doesn't work like doesn't work like that. So, just if we can start unlearning that we are not good enough, that and stepping into yes, I am. All it has to be is a little reminder in the mind: I am good enough for this. I am good enough. I am worthy of love. I am worthy of money. You know, and you will. And again, you start to change these. You start to change your conditioning, and you will just see it inner world reflects the as world reflects the inner world sorry i'm getting all excited um so how can we change it how can we step more into our true self um number one is being aware being aware that you have a persona like you know you may never get rid of the persona completely and that is okay another thing do not have judgment on this do not place judgment on this you know we are all facing this but by understanding that we 
show the world a persona and we show different people different parts of us right we show different personas to different people um again so that we're accepted uh, but by being aware of our patterns being aware of how we're holding ourselves back being aware of the stories that we tell ourselves being aware when we're coming from a place of lack rather than infinite abundance that awareness that will just that will start to kind of change because we're bringing the subconscious into the conscious right um know the qualities of your true self go back and do that journaling write down your qualities um and then as you start to step into your true self this is when again the universe will match your energy she will match you right um, and and da, 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 da. we evolve we grow we um expand um you also need to actively make the changes so it's all right being aware but you have to step into it you have to embody it you have to if something needs to change that isn't aligned with your true self and your soul's desires if if there's something out of alignment you have to make the change so that could be separating from a relationship that no longer serves you it could be applying for the job it could be saying yes i'm going to speak at that event or it could be just i don't know reaching out to somebody on instagram and making a new friend or a new connection or and remember and reminding yourself yes i am good enough for this right so actively make the changes you need to and call yourself out on your own bs so your own belief systems again staying aware staying aware being conscious spending more time being conscious and in the present moment will bring up the awareness and then you'll know what you need to change because you'll feel it listen to your heart listen to your body get out of the mind and into the heart and then you start to see where things change and yeah there might be some pain that comes up there might be some stuck emotion that comes up but be there for it allow it because we're transcending the ego we are evolving and that is that is our natural progression and the more you hold yourself back the more difficult life's going to get especially as we as the planet the consciousness of the planet changes um and you are really doing yourself and the whole entire universe yourself your friends your family your peers you, the universe everybody around you you're doing them a disservice if you're not fully stepping into your true power as the true self because we are we need as the you as the world expands as the world evolves and we are like we are evolving at a ridiculous rate that you know our minds cannot comprehend and and most people you know the world needs the people who are doing the work like us right um if you if you're here i'm imagining you're into some kind of spiritual or personal development and i'm imagining you have a purpose that's bigger than yourself um and the world needs this in order to change you know if we want we've got to be the change we want to see so we have to we have to it's it's like it's our job to step more into that of who we are and we don't have to do it for the world we can do it for ourselves like do it for yourself first because you need that you need that your 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 ego needs to see that you're doing it for yourself but um but also as you're doing it for yourself hello and welcome to the mandala effects because this is when you work on yourself you improve the lives of those around you and they improve the lives of those around them and it's an a it's an automatic energetical frequency thing and b it's an inspiration thing people will see it and be inspired and but also it happens automatically as your frequency um elevates so um and the world is changing at a rapid rate like there is there is something going on there is a shift happening we're talking about the world's changing from different like different alignments and you know within the stars and all of this i mean i don't really understand all of that and i don't um i i'm not going to pretend that i do but i know i feel that the world is changing the world is a very different place today than what it was five years ago yeah 
And you probably see that as well. I mean, look at what's going off. We're seeing massive things change all around us. The world needs people like us who are willing to step up, willing to unlock our true potential and really go out there and, 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 and make changes and be more of our true selves and more of our true selves. So in our, in our truest self, we are pure love, right? We are pure love and we are infinite abundance. And the, wouldn't you say that the world needs more love? Wouldn't you say the world needs to be shown its infinite abundance? Okay. Whew. So let me ask you the question again. Who are you pretending to be? And is she worthy of your true self? I hope that this has helped you kind of see something, learn something, uncover something about yourself and go away and do the, do the journaling. I'll write it in the description so that you have a reminder and there'll be a blog post on this as well. Um, so go into it, think about it, journal on it. How do you step into more of your true self? It looks different for everybody, but remember that your truest true self the absolute reality is pure consciousness and, and, and we are all different manifestations of pure consciousness. So we are all good enough just because we are, just because we are like what we are. So um, I hope that, I hope that this has made sense and I hope that it resonates. Please let me know if it does. Um, I look forward to seeing you next week where I'm sure we'll have another cracking po podcast episode. Um, if you would like some help, stepping into more of your true self and unpeeling the layers of like of the ego of the persona that you have built in all which is holding you back and if you're aware that you're holding yourself back but you would like to step fully into your power please contact me um and we can talk about working together one-to-one -one. you can book a 20-minute conversation with me in the um in the link below in the links below we can just have a chat you can ask me any questions or if you just want to have a look i have a brochure that you can download it has all the information on there from um, the pack different packages that i offer so if you would like to work with me please get in touch and i will see you next week for another cracking episode of the mandala effects where we change the world one soul at a time see you soon